Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Jake, this is JB Tech. Today I'm going to be sharing my first day of experience with the LifeX bulbs, so let's get into the video. Setting up the LifeX bulbs was quite straightforward. Firstly, I just took out the existing bulb out of the lamp I wanted to put the LifeX bulbs in. I then replaced it with the LifeX bulb. After this, I then went into the LifeX app, I clicked the add icon, and then I clicked connect light. The app will then give you a list of every light which you can connect. You then just click on the light which you want to connect and then the app will run through the setup process for you. You do have to do this for every bulb, that's just one of the cons with buying the LifeX bulbs over the Philips Hue as there is a hub with the Philips Hue which does cost more money but then it just connects more seamlessly but to be honest I don't really mind with LifeX as it's not that hard to do anyway. After you've done this you are now in full control of all your lights. The first thing I did was change the colour of all my lights. After I'd chosen my colours, I made a scene so that I've got a preset so I can go back and go back to the preset and then it's there ready to go for when I want to use it. I have a fair few scenes for depending on what I'm doing. Built right into the app are a load of presets and themes for you to use right away if you can't be bothered to make your own. So far, I haven't really used this as I prefer to make my own themes to make them look how I want. The app also lets you connect your bulbs to a variety of other devices such as Amazon Alexa or Google Home or Google Assistant. As I don't have an Amazon Alexa device with me, I installed the Reverb app which is a third party app which basically lets you run Alexa on your phone. After this I went back into the LifeX app and then connected the two together by just clicking Amazon Alexa and it seemed to work pretty well. Turn on Jake's lights. When it came to me setting up Google Assistant with LifeX and my phone, that's where the problem occurred. When going into the Google Assistant settings and trying to set up the bowls with Google Assistant, I got onto the LifeX cloud page. After clicking authorize, an error popped up saying could not update settings. I don't know if this is a problem that many people have, but it's a problem I've had and I hope LifeX are able to fix it soon. I did find a workaround for this problem with the IFTT app or IFTTT which basically allows you to control many home appliances. What I did was I made a new applet. I then for the first option chose Google Assistant. My trigger was to turn on Jake's lights. For the next option I chose to turn on the lights and set the lights to a white colour when they turn on. Turn on Jake's lights. With the IFT integration, there are endless opportunities to what you can do with it. I would highly recommend this to anyone with any sort of smart devices as it gives you so much more flexibility. There will be a link in the video description to the IFT app for both Android and iOS. Other than this, there weren't really any other major issues with the lights themselves. Getting on to how the lights perform. When turning on the lights, they turn on almost instantly due to my fairly good internet connection. The colour reproduction of the lights is really good too. The bulbs are very bright and can easily fill a room unlike LifeX biggest competitor Philip Hue. I hope this video has helped you with what you can expect with the LifeX experience at the beginning. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, dislike the video and tell me why down below in the comment section. My name has been Jake, this has been JP Tech, and I'll see you in my next video. Ooh.